welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be working on this privet tree that you've seen me work on recently with a repot that will help with the growth for next year hello everyone um today is just going to be a, a little quick video um on this privet ligristum that you've seen me working on recently um i really like this pot in here but um privets tend to like deeper pots and next year i need it to have a lot of growth so we're going to be putting it in a slightly deeper pot today so you may have seen this pot in my japanese maple video and it should fit in with this tree fairly nicely it's not as nice as that one there but it will eventually go back into that pot once i get the growth that i want and the thickness now i shouldn't really have to wire it down into this pot as the tree is quite heavy as in itself but it is wired into here that's just finding that wire under that moss it's also another wire here and as you can see we've got roots growing out the bottom as well so it wants that deeper pot as you can see see all these roots this is all from one year's growth it's, it's looking pretty healthy it's done pretty good there we go that's why i didn't want to come out oh that's gonna be tight isn't it that is gonna be really tight what i'm gonna do is use a pair of tweezers just ever so gently working our way around don't worry about losing any because but these roots will grow back in no time oh these these are strong these are really strong roots This is why the growth slowed down during the year. And this is also why it's best to have privet trees in a bit of a deeper pot, because the root growth that they can put on is absolutely incredible. Now there's some, some mesh under there. Make, need to make sure that's off. If there's a little bit of a trim. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do this today, but it's going to be absolutely fine. As you can see, it's had absolute vigorous growth. Okay. Okay. I think we may be sitting, sitting above something here. Basically, what's in the way here is this. But it's massive side root. I could possibly bring that back a little bit more. Not by much. What about that? this much so now you're probably wondering why i'm using these garden shears well let's just say that with my root cutters i got a bit brave recently and now they're all bent out of shape but these would do the job lovely we just need a bit of persistence that's all just don't wince too much we've gone too far now And that's the job done lovely now what we're going to do is clean it up 
and it doesn't matter if it's a rough job it will weather over the winter and next year it, it will be looking lovely we can do some kaizen number two in there that piece of wood Greg what's that about what we're also going to be doing is and some green dream soil sauce now this is a zero nitrogen feed and it will aid in any root recovery or shock that this, tra this tree may encounter which I highly doubt it. Do you know what? This is probably the first video I haven't tried to make it look pretty for you. And a lot of artists do it, they try to make it look pretty. I'm not about that today. Today is about getting it in, getting the job done. As I am on a time limit. It is looking quite nice. Put soil in, push down. Any gaps. So this is why I use the use the moss. And um, if you didn't know, privet trees are very closely related to olive trees they can withstand drought and I don't mind a bit of water logging either so, so I can fill them air pockets filling in as I push that soil down and I'm going to keep doing this until you can no longer feel it budge. Don't worry about the soil being too compact because this is a not lovely free draining soil. The roots will find a way through it and so will the water. I think that works out quite nicely with that, rock, that gap there. We'll get some moss going through there eventually. And here we go, after a little bit of a clean up. I actually really do like this pot. So this tree should do absolutely well during the winter and next year, it's now got plenty of room to push those new roots, which will intend to feed the rest of the tree so I can get some explosive growth. As this year it was slightly stunted due to the shallow pot. And I actually kind of like this pot. It may stay in this one. Um, let's find out. But yeah. So if you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe. If not, no worries. And I'll catch you in the next one.